Alrighty guys and gals, what's going on everybody? Welcome back. This is the Misty Mountain Gaming Channel. I'm Big E and we are in Wrath of the Lich King. We are on the US East Hardcore server. I think this is where the hardcore community has gravitated to. It's the Maladath server and we are in a guild called Victory or Death. I think we are in that guild. Anyway, this is Exabyte. This is our troll mage. Say hello, Exabyte. Hey there. Hey there, he says. Anyway, this is a custom hardcore challenge on the channel, and I'll put the rules up on the screen temporarily for you to review. Free nether... What? What? Are you kidding me? Trade? Oh my god, I... L I love you! <laughs> this is so funny, man. I was just watching, I uh, follow another YouTuber called OGT Jams. If you're watching T, what's going on, man? I just watched an episode the other day. This happened to him. Well, he was actually in a group. Uh, in uh, his, uh, the person he was grouping with, I think it was like a little gnome or something, gave him like four fucking other weave bags, man. Like, that is, that is so awesome, man. Ha uh, what, yeah, happy, my mic is in the way of my, happy Thanksgiving. That is so cool, man. That is so awesome. It's like, uh, it's Thanksgiving. It's actually Thanksgiving Day for me. <laughs> that was so cool. <laughs> yeah. That makes me very happy. Let's put some, we got two bags. Boy, did we need them. We've got, we're rocking six slaughters. Man, that is so good, dude. I mean, it's not like we're dying on bag space, but still, that's super cool. Okay. Um. <laughs> anyway, what we're going to work on this episode, we're going to fly to Ratchet. Uh, we are going to work on a quest. I think she flew off. She's going to uh, another town. She's going to another town to hand out some more bags. Yeah, we're going to go to Ratchet. We're going to work on this quest right here. Baron Longshore. It says, bring the head of Baron Longshore to Gaslow in Ratchet. He's wanted. Captain of the Heedless. Captain Longshore of Gilneas leads vessels out of the South Sea freebooters and is wanted on charges of piracy. Remains must be identifiable condition. I don't think I've ever really read this quest before. He's out of Gilneas. Interesting. All right. Well, let's go do this. It's a green quest. I think I know where this guy is. He occupies these pirate camps, like, down through here. Anyway, I got a little bit out of order on the release schedule. Um, this is actually... I'm actually not sure when this is coming out. This might be out on the 27th. But this episode you're watching was actually supposed to be out um, on Thanksgiving hey, Day. Hey, how you doing? Well, oh, Pil Pilgrim's Bound. Have a good one. Uh, but I elected to not release the episode. Um, because it was supposed to be out on Thanksgiving, I got a little bit complainy and salty in that, in that episode. So I decided not to release it. It wasn't a long thing. It was just only five minutes. But it was about button clicking. <laughs> so for whatever reason, because of the way this YouTube algorithm works, where am I going? I need to be going this way. The last, it was the last episode, or maybe the one before, got like 16 or 1700 views, the, the Troll Mage. And the video before that, I think, I don't know, got like 150. It's really weird how it works. I don't understand it at all. How the it just and maybe it just sometimes gets recommended, you know, over there on the right. I don't know what happened there. Anyway, so since I had a lot more views on it, I had a lot of comments. No, not a lot. It was actually just one. <laughs> had one comment about button clicking. 
And uh, somebody on the channel actually stuck up for me. And that person has stuck up for me before. Thank you, ma'am or sir, if you're watching. It wasn't compl It wasn't like really bad, but just kind of a little stab at me. And I, I get a little bit... It bothers me a little bit. I'm a pretty sensitive dude, and I take things personally. And uh, So anyway, I did like a little kind of a rant. I just didn't feel it was... I didn't want to have that video out on Thanksgiving Day. So instead, I think I probably released the Evoker video. So I think they've swatched, swapped places, but they will fall back into line after this. What have we got here? Is that a paladin? Looks like a paladin. It is a paladin. Well, we're fairly high level here, so we shouldn't have any trouble. What might happen, though, is... Um... Hey, thanks, bro. Yeah, let me give you one of those, man. Get you some of that, my friend. Blessing of Might. Okay. Blessing of Wisdom is good, too. He may not be high enough level for Blessing of Wisdom. Oh, I pulled Threat. I don't want this guy chasing me. Let's go see if we can find the, uh, the captain here. He's going to be at one of these camps. Nice thing about being a higher level is you can just kind of dodge and weave your way through these mobs without worry about uh, pulling them. What's that back there? Probably a herb? No, a, a, a mine. Got to do that. Actually, it doesn't matter. There he is. No, that's not him. He's just tall. So he'll be down here in this corner. I think he can be at any of these camps. I mean, I'm not 100% sure. All right, let's get this guy out of the way. Anyway, hope everyone's doing well. I sure do. I also have to conjure up some food and some water. Water, especially. Let's do that right now. Yep, today is Thanksgiving Day for me. For my U.S. viewers, I hope you guys and gals had a wonderful Thanksgiving. It's a time for family. It's a time for feasting, getting together. There he is right there. Let's work our way in here. Uh, way in here. Now, there are no rules about us, um, you know, grouping. Anything else goes in this challenge. So if that Blood Elf Paladin comes up, I'll group up with him. Just because he may be trying to get this quest done, and I don't want to be a dick and steal the mob. He's actually, this guy's just like all by himself out here, so maybe he's already come through here. There's also a chest right here. I'm going to get him down before mobs start respawning. So I'm not full mana, but we should be fine, especially if we get a couple of those off, like that mob right there. So we're going to pull two. Are we? We're not going to pull two, but he, we don't even get credit for this mob. Yeah, I'm glad we did this quest. We're doing this quest now because if we level up, it probably would have went gray. It's not that big a of a deal, you know, getting rid of a quest. But may as well get some XP. There's the head. Let's see what's in this chest. Yeah, we'll take that. What did I miss here? Some copper. Some copper. Camper, camper. Did I pick up the quest to kill? Yes. Now, this one is risky. We're not going to do this yet until it turns green because you have to go up into these towers up here. Uh, all these towers. It's. It can be pretty risky. But what else do I have? Do I have anything around here? I've got a bunch of green quests we need to do. This goes to the sepulchre. This goes back to Ratchet. Stolen silver? I still... Have we leveled up since then? I think we've got a level or two. Alright, let's roll this way. I want to go look at these raptors again. I want to look at their level ranges. I can polymorph one. I can polymorph beasts, humans, and critters. Yeah, I... I always thought uh, Polymorpher Hex only worked on humanoids, but 
not the case. And what level are these guards? Let's fight our way through here. Yes, I was hoping we get one of those. That is coming in quite handy. No, I've said it like a million times. Oh, this is a quest item. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Let's farm these guys. This is probably the quest I just picked up in Ratchet. We'll review the quest. But clearly we just need to kill Marines and uh, take their medals. How dare you? How dare you? I need a target. Yeah, this is right. Oh, this is part of it. Okay. I see. So we have to get 10 Theramore medals. Well, let's read. It says, Captain Thalos, uh, Thalothas, bright son of Ratchet, wants you to collect 10 Theramore medals and slay Captain Fairmont, Shane, or we Sane, and uh, Cannoneer Smythe. So three NPCs and some medals. So we can get this first part. We'll start working on it. But I do. we are going to go see about the Raptors, about the stolen silver. That's pretty annoying. So whatever he interrupts, he interrupts from that school. So as you can see, he interrupted when I was trying to fireball, and he and also interrupted fire blast. So if I'm if I'm casting frostbolt, it would probably I'd be silenced on Nova as well. So maybe the play is to do this. Beat them at their own game. If that makes any sense. Okay, we can just outright kill him. Good drop rate. One for one. Let's drink up a little bit. Anyway, I'm not doing anything today. I am going to go to the gym. <laughs> Probably be nobody there. The only people I ever see in the gym on holidays and stuff are other um, meatheads like myself. Same thing about early in the morning. Well, that's not always true. I, A lot of people work out before they go to work, which means they can be in the gym as early as 5 a.m. or earlier. Also tend to see older people in the gym at that time, you know? Older people, I guess, just tend to get up earlier. I know all of them don't. I think most of my family is... Um, like vampires. <laughs> ah, he looks like you were just out of range to interrupt me. That's quite unfortunate. Maybe on the way back, the raptors are just right up there. On the way back, uh, we can just we can come back through this way and uh, get the last few medals we need. I'll do fire. That way, if he interrupts... Okay, he ain't got time to interrupt. Anyway. These are... These are these plane striders down this way are the ornery ones, which means they will attack you. I feel so slow <laughs> on this mage. Just so slow. Also, I want to take this time, I want to congratulate HC Nancy. My man hit level 60, hardcore Seas of Mastery on his Warlock. I wasn't online when he did it, but I happened, I was on Secret Beard, aka Beard Fist. Oh boy, I really got to be careful in here. Um, and I just happened to, you know, look at the social tab and see if how many players were online, and I saw much. another... Uh... It wasn't the same name, but I figured it, it was close enough to his HC Nancy character that it was him, and it was. So I talked to him a little bit, and um, he is doing ultra hardcore. <laughs> he he just re-rolled. He's doing it again with a warrior, man. I feel like warrior probably would be the, the toughest class uh, to do this challenge in. I don't know. I can think of others. Priest might also be a little bit rough. Oh my god, this is so lucky. 
dude, this is so lucky right here. Give me this. <laughs> Give me this and let me get out of here, man. That is pretty lucky. We like that. I wonder who... I didn't even see anybody in here. They might have went out the back. That's probably what they did. You can jump out the back there. Anyway, tip of the hat to Nomaraid. He's another guild mate. He made it to level 59 on his mage, his no mage, and died at level 59. Man, I like I was crushed when I hit level 57 and died. Can you imagine getting level 59? Anyway, that guy's tough as nails. He just uh he's re-rolled again. He's like, he's just he's going at it, man. He's a beast. He is a beast. Congratulations, HC Nancy. I don't I don't know their real names. <laughs> so I just go by the guild names. And uh, good luck, Nomaraid. You got it, man. I did join the guild. I am back in the guild. Because I want to see stuff like that. I, I do want to see stuff like that. Uh, I want to see people come on online. And there are there there are actually more people doing it now than there was just like a month and a half ago because of Blizzard because they extended. Well, they never actually put out a close date. They just put out a poll or not a poll, a blue post post about transfers and then as soon as people saw that, we were assuming, okay, well, no, you know, mid December it's going to come to an end. But mid December has come and gone. Anyway, they did a blue post and the way that it reads, it looks like you have until like mid-ish February, somewhere in there. I thought it said February 14th, which is actually Valentine's Day here in the United States. Is that a net? Is that like a, is that a global holiday? I don't think it is, right? I think that holiday actually um, originated with St. Valentine, right? He was secretly marrying Protestants, like people of different faiths, which was a, a big, like, I think that was punishable by death back then. I think he was actually executed. I think he was put to death. Yeah, there's a happy fact for you. I probably got a little bit wrong, but it's not a happy story that he was executed for bringing people together. But what does this say? have two 80s, yet these people tell me I don't know where I'm going in RFK. <laughs> two 80s? And Razorfen Crowl? I guess they're um, just running people through there. I, I don't... You just need one 80, right? I'm also... Making a little bit risky plays, being low mana like this is not a good thing. Anyway, right, let's turn uh, let's turn that off. We don't need to see it. Well, that's that quest completed. Let's run back to Ratchet. We'll turn this in. I might end up turning Questy on for this let's play. As a matter of fact, I'm going to do it. I don't I don't use Questy really, and normally in my less plays. But um, I've been using him on my hardcore character offline, the character I'm playing offline, because it's just so much easier and it's faster. And I'm not, obviously, I'm not reading quests. Um, but now I'm kind of used to it. But I like, um, I like having it off, really, because having Questy off, it, it's allowed me to discover some areas in this game that I've never been before. You know, if I'm running around trying to find something, <laughs> which can also be frustrating. But I've come across, like, chests and rares and just, like, li these little things in the game I've never seen before. And that actually happened to me. Where was I at? I was on Beard Fist. I was actually in Sil Was I? I was farming. I think I was farming in Silver Pine Forest. I was, and I was way down here. There's like a secret path back here, and there is a vendor back here, uh, a trainer. I've never been back there. It was like a little camp and a fire. There's just a path that comes up through these hills and then around like this. And I was just running around 
farming um, herbs, I think. And uh, yeah, I came across it. But that's one of, kind of the, one of the good things about having Questy off. If you're just casually leveling. Obviously, if you're trying to hurry up and level. Questy is good. It's... Because all you you don't even have to read the quest. You just hit you just open the map. Um <laughs> and just do this. Just go right to where it tells you to go. Let's grab these nodes. I can sell them. I do want to continue to grab the nodes. We did pick up jewel crafting on this character, but uh I've mentioned in the last couple episodes. I think I'm just going to be buying the trinkets, rings, and necklace. And I'll sell the ores. And um, what I also need to do, I'm, I'm just going to drop jewel crafting. And I probably pick up another gathering to sell the mats, uh, either herbalism or maybe skinning. Sell the mats on the auction house. And then uh, with the gold, we can actually, we'll just buy what other people make. <laughs> so I'm too lazy. I can't be bothered with professions on this character. But jewel crafting is a profession that I've never leveled. There's only a few professions I've ever leveled to max. The the primary professions. I've gotten alchemy to max. And I'm trying to think. Like the secondary professions, yeah, I've fishing, cooking, first aid. Also during Mist of Pandaria, that's when they introduced um, archaeology, I think. That's when they introduced that. That was an interesting profession, man. I made a, I was making mounts. You can make all kinds of things with that. I also got... I got a rare mount. It's the Skeletal Raptor, I think it's called. I got that from archaeology way back when. One of my favorite mounts. It's kind of cool. It's just a skeleton of a raptor. Anyway, let's go turn this quest in. And then I'm going to wrap it up and get my booty to the gym. And I did have a Happy Thanksgiving video I put out on the channel. I actually did that I did that uh, yesterday for me, which was the 23rd. <laughs> I know it's weird because of those schedule releases, but um, that TV dinner I was holding up, that's what I'm going to have today for dinner. Keep it quick, kid. <laughs> I ain't got all day. Clearly, you don't have all day. What's happening? Something I can help you with? Goods to ship? Perhaps an engineering job? No, I've got a severed head. Well, I don't know where I'm keeping it. Ah, that sort of business. You know, I saw the headless once. Oh, the heedless once on the open seas. Fearsome ship. Oh, it's a ship. The heedless. It's, he said it was captain of the heedless. I thought it was like a group of thugs or something. Those sailors are so particular. Anyways, watching her glide across the water was quite a sight to see. I'm glad her infamous captain will trouble my ships no longer. We can actually see this quest, so I'm just going to pick it up. And we'll review it when we, uh, when we do it. Let's get our booties into the inn. Actually, we're going to fly back to Ratchet because we're going to turn in the stolen silver quest. I got a better idea. Let's just hearth. And we'll do a spinny move to the left. Hold on. I do. I need a thumbnail. Something that says I was in Ratchet and did some stuff. <laughs> Let's see if I can get something interesting here. Is that... Uh, that that could be with the sun behind me. But I can't have my feet all wonky like that. Let's see what we got here. Uh, perhaps... What be happening? What be happening? All right. Let's roll. Let's roll on out of here. There's a spinning move to the left. There we are. All right. What's this guy's name? Garzrog. Gazrog. Lokta. Do you have the silver? I do. Aha. So the raptors did hide the silver at their lair. Wait a minute. You weren't even sure? <laughs> Uh, it's hard to believe these beasts would have the desire for silver. Perhaps the stories of their intelligence are not uh, as far from the mark as I thought. Thank you, Exabyte. Take this reward for your service to us and know that the guards of the crossroads owe their next month's pay to you. Okay, now I kind of see why it was a big deal. This was like their pay, man. 
go with honor. If you're wondering what the add-on I'm using is, why you see like a gold piece, uh, it's called Pawn, P-A-W-N. And it will show you what item will sell for more, or if it's like an upgrade or something. But it's not always accurate from what I've seen as far as like whether something is an upgrade. But it's still kind of cool to have. Anyway, we're going to wrap it up here. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. And again, I hope uh, my U.S. viewers had a wonderful Thanksgiving. All the rest of my viewers, other countries, I hope you had a wonderful day, a wonderful night. You guys and gals, take care. Exabyte and myself. We'll catch you in the next episode. Catch you later. Peace.